Hello everyone, so welcome back to the level of coding. So in today's video, we are going to build the responsive Naopa using Tailwind and React.js. So as you can see, this is what the demo look like. So this is on a larger screen. So as you can see, we have the list of our navigation. And so when we go on a smaller screen, so this uh, one is gonna be disappear and we have this menu right here. So when I click on here, there's a pop up the navigation for our uh, navigate so as you can see we can be able to close this one and all right so i think that pretty much it so let's start coding all right so here i'm using vs code so you can use any tag that you want and this is just a boilerplate from create next app so you can use with react app as well and so i have installed tailwinds already and i have installed react icon so because we're going to use the icons and so if you want to set up your Tailwind, it's pretty easy. You can go to Google and search set up Tailwind with Next.js or React. So it will bring you the top link to the document of Tailwind CSS. And you can just follow this documentation, run some command, and then you will be able to set up Tailwind. All right. You can see right here, I run the, we have the homepage and right now it display the index on the right side. First, we're going to start up by writing this container. And then after that, we're going to Break up the menu. All right. So here I'm gonna give a container background of VG slats and height screen. After that, we give the maximums width uh, of 5XL and then uh, the BG white. So you can see when you go on the larger screen, so you can see there is this uh, with two different color. Here we're gonna give the container of our text with the larger screen, we're gonna PX24 and then the small screen, we just do a part in just five. Here we have a tag of the H1 and the paragraphs. So as you can see right here, and for paragraph, we just give a little bit of space between and we give the uh, uh, margin top to five. So now let's write our navigation bar. So I have my now bar right here. So we need to create a component for it. All right, so this is our now bar. So I'm gonna copy and paste the link that uh, for our links to navigation and then we're gonna start to our now bar container so right here i give the pattern top to 10 and then i do width full and then for everything the now bar ends in the now bar i'm gonna put everything into the center and i add the pattern of it to fire as well so now we're gonna focus on writing the now bar for web view so you can see this is the web menu so i'm gonna create a new component for it all right so for our web menu so we're gonna accept uh, links as a props that will pass from our now bar. So inside here, it's going to be really simple. First, we're going to render all the list. So we're going to loop through it. And right here, we're going to import the link from the JS. All right. So as you can see right here, we list all of the links. So we need to do some, a little bit of style to the parents. So as you can see right here, I give the, um, flex to separate it between this one and then I give it the patterns to have a, a space and I set the background white and we have some shadow. So next, we going to undisplay this one when we on the smaller screen. All right. So what we do is to, we need to wrap around this one. So on a smaller screen, we to do as, uh, uh, from the smaller screen up. So we want to do block, but on the smaller screen, so we're going to do hidden. So you can see right here, it's uh, gone. And if we on the larger screen, so you can see we have up here this one. Nice. So the next thing is we're going to build this menu right here. So first, as you can see, this menu is on the right side. So what we're going to do is to set up the container. Let's do that. Right here, I'm adding container flex. And then we justify this one to N. And then inside here, we're going to add the, the button that's going to be our menu. So we're going to do some styling to our button right here. So as you can see, I give the background white and then we have some shadow. We have some uh, part in X and Y to give a little space in between. And we do round it full right here. And for the text color, I'm going to text things 500. Next is we want to this one to disappear whenever the screen is on a larger screen and a small is going to be blocked right here. What we can do is to I'm hidden. So now when we are on a larger screen, so you can see this menu is gone. So next is we need to build the mobile menu. So right now, when I click this, this menu right here, so I create this mobile menu, which I have not created a component yet. So I'm going to create a component for this one. 
All right, so right now we have created the mobile menu. So let's actually do some styling and add some component to it. So the first things uh, that we're gonna do is to add the backdrop to our background right here. And then we're gonna create this container right here. As you can see right here, I set the position to fix and the top to zero, left to zero. And we do the height screen and with full. And I set the background with five, uh, gray 500 and opacity to 60. So you can see this color. And then to for blur, we're going to do the backdrop blur. That gives this nice this effect right here. Next, we're going to build this container that stay on top of this one. First, I'm going to give uh, the parent container to position fix as well. And we do some padding inside this one. Uh, for the white container, we can do something like this. So as you can see right now we have our white container and we have some other radius and the uh, pattern inside so for the height of this one we're gonna render our list is gonna go inside here so as you can see right here we have the navigations uh, after title and then you can see this button right here that be able to close so we're gonna do that so right here i create one diff that contains uh h1 and our navigation and our close icon and i have imported from react icon right here so we're going to do some style to this one. And right now you can see this navigation and this icon is side by side. So, but the icon is a little bit too small. We need to give it a little bit uh, uh, bigger than this one. So I set up the height of this one to seven and the width of this one to seven. And when we hover on this one, we do scale up a little bit and we do some transition and a cursor pointer as well. So you can see when I hover on this one, it'll get a little bit bigger. So next we going to render our list inside here so the link it, uh, is going to be uh, passed as a prop as well so right here on the now bar i'm passed the link this one as the props and then right here we can use it to render inside our mobile menu all right so as you can see right now uh we render the link right here and then what we return is a link right here and i have some style it's already so we have we need to do its block so then we can uh stay on top of each other and we give it a little bit of space and this is a text color the next thing is i want to give it a little bit of space between this one and the navigation so what i can do is i'm going to class name of this one to uh mt5 and i want to divide the content of this one as well so what you can do you can do divide y right now you can see there's some uh the y between this one really nice so the next thing is we need to do the mechanisms that allow us to be able to click on this one and close the navigation and open it. So go back here. So we can have the uh, open state. And now we can set opens for our navigations. And then by default, we're going to do fall. And so we can do have some logic right here. So if it's opened, we're going to render this one else we're going to re uh, render react fragment so you can see right here so whenever this one is uh unless this one is true and then we we're going to open this one so to toggle open this one we need to do on click on this one and then we can set the value of this one to true so we're going to do set open to true all right so right now when i click nice so right next we need to be able to close this one as well so you can pass this one as a prop so you can say close and then you can pass set opens to false all right so and then on the mobile menu uh, we can access this one and then we can do close and then we can click on this one so on click and then you need to do close or not like this you can just call close right away all right so right now if i do close very nice so i think it's almost complete but we need to do some animation so you can see it's just real uh, right up here and it's not really nice so we need to do some little animation to this one to make it better so to do that first we need to do the use effects on this component and then we have to keep some state as well so what i'm gonna do is gonna do animation and then we're gonna set animations and for we do use state and default value is gonna be full and after a component is rendered, we're going to set this one to true. And so for the animation, we can go inside uh, this one and then we can do some our logic to our style right here. What I'm going to do is uh, animation. If it's true, what we're going to do is we're going to scale this one to 100. And then if it's not, we're going to scale this one to 
65, uh, 95. Right now, if I open this one, we need to do some transition to make it better. So right now, if I close this one and when reappear, so you can see it feel like uh, there's something popped out. It's not like a bling and then we can see this one. This one is bling and then there's some pop up right here. Really nice. So the next thing is you can see on the larger screen. So we want this one to be close. We don't want to fix hidden this one. Otherwise, when you go on a small screen, it's going to be uh, C again. So if, for example, if I go to SM up and then I go this one hidden uh, and then, but when you go on a small screen, you can see the menu is still up here, here. So this is not uh, what we want. So what we want is to, it to, when listen to whenever this the window resize to on a larger screen, we want to close this one. To do that, it's going to be really simple. We're going to do window at even listener and then we're going to do resize and inside here we have a callback and then we can check the condition if the even the target that inner width is bigger or equal to 640 we going to close this one and then so when we close this one we need to remove the uh, window even listener as well so we're going to do window dot remove even listener and then we're going to do resize and this one it's need another Call back and just do empty right here. So right now, if I was on the larger screen, so you can see it's gone. When we back, we go back to this one. And unless we click, we appear this one. You can see. I think that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you like this one. And hopefully you learned something from this one. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this one to friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.